opened her car door and began punching her unprovoked. I think that's the first time I've actually had somebody get assaulted in their car. Did you hear that? It's even scary to think about. A woman just waiting at a stoplight in the middle of the day, attacked by a stranger. She was punched several times before he ran off, and now police are looking for him. Tonight, News 5's Bob Jones has the latest on this investigation and talks with the 911 dispatcher who took that woman's frantic call for help. Attacked at a stoplight. Hard for any driver to imagine, but that's what happened just before 5 p.m. yesterday to a 29-year-old woman who had just left work. Police say she was waiting at a red light at the intersection of Dart Avenue and Cedar Street in Akron when a stranger opened the driver's side door and began punching her in the face. A man came out to the car and opened the door and, and punched her in the face a few times, but I screamed and he ran away. I think I might have, like, turned my head enough that, like, the blows weren't, like, landing that hard. What the heck? The voice on the other end of the line was 911 dispatcher Kim Cherry. She's handled many disturbing calls over 27 years. She was rattled. Her voice was shaking. It sounded like she had been crying. But this one really got to her. It was flabbergasting to me because that's some medical areas, cars up and down that street all the time. It's people in that area walking on foot, so that just was, it just seemed brazen. Police say the attacker may have run off because at the time the victim was on speakerphone with her husband. She gave a vague description of the man who terrified her. He was wearing like a, a either a dark zippy or a dark hoodie with a hood up, but he had a white scarf. In the meantime, Kim stayed on the phone with the woman for several minutes until police arrived. Do you, um, Want me to call your husband, let him know you're okay? If any of us was in that situation, I was even working here, I would still be nervous and I would want somebody to stay on the phone with me just to be reassuring. Lieutenant Miller says he's not aware of any recent crimes like this, which happened near the Cleveland Clinic Akron General Campus. It's bold and then some, you know, it's unfortunate. It's, it's really foolish. It's foolishness at its highest, to be honest with you. Police don't have any suspects, but there are multiple cameras in the area. Detectives are hoping to review those for possible video evidence. In the meantime, police and that dispatcher are sending out a warning to other drivers. Definitely if you're a woman, even men, but definitely if you're a woman in a car by yourself, make sure your car is locked because that, that's safer than driving around in an unlocked car. Tonight, Kim is hoping the man who randomly attacked a driver is captured before someone else is more seriously hurt. If he would do that to her, he'll do it to other people. And if he could think he could get away with it with her, he'll try it again. So, yeah, I hope he gets caught. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.